Okay, here's the first one. It's from uh, Matt Oskverik, uh, Facebook guy. Uh, he says, okay, here is my shot. This is the theological question. Does God desire all people to be saved? The question is not about anything but desire concerning all humans. He says, I'm not asking about being predestined, election. Uh, I understand John Owen's teaching and the smart seminary types. I'm wondering, though, about all people. Does God really want all people to be saved? Not God's sovereign decree and determination, but does he really want everyone to be saved? And his question is out of 1 Timothy 2, 3, and 4. Uh, <clears throat> this is good. Pleases God our Savior who wants all men to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. A classic Calvinistic question. God sovereignly decrees salvation. Does he really want everyone to be saved? What would you say? Well, when we talk about God's want to, excuse me for being a theologian here for a second, but you said it was a theological yeah. question, is that we're looking at the, the biblical concept of the will of God. And if you look at it, there are two different Greek words that are translated by the English word will, thelo, thelo, my, for example. And, uh, and yet, if you examine those words etymologically, you'll see that they're very nuanced. There may be seven or eight distinct ways in which the Bible speaks of the will of God. Yeah. One of which is his sovereign will that you've mentioned. Another will is preceptive will, his law that he gives us. But there's also what we would call his, his, his uh, will of disposition. That is what pleases him. And uh, when the Bible says that God is not willing, for example, uh, or it takes no delight in the death of the wicked, it tells us something, I think, about the the character of God. That even though he's committed to justice, even though he's committed to judgment, he doesn't get his jollies by subjecting people to punishment. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, uh, a sadistic tyrant would. And I think that's the vein in which the Bible says he takes no delight in the death of the wicked. That God doesn't, doesn't enjoy, in a certain sense, sending people to hell. But he doesn't. But there's grief. There's, but yeah, but if we're going to attribute human emotions to God, yeah. that would be a, a one of them. I think about a judge who's sitting on the bench, and up be, before him comes his son. And his son is guilty, and the law requires that he be sent to prison. And the judge is supposed to do what is right, and he does what is right. He sends, a, sends that boy to prison, but he does it in tears. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it's telling us about the character of God, you know, that his, that his disposition is one of loving kindness. Mm. But that loving kindness does not annul his concern for righteousness or for justice. It's a great answer. I hope it helps.